YouTube, what's up, man? This is a different video, one that you will not find on YouTube, I, um, especially for people that are competitive players or something like that, man. I'm playing Mutt. This is just a random season game, and this is going to teach everybody a valuable lesson. It's something I talk about a lot on the podcast. You guys can check out all 18 episodes of the podcast on my YouTube, man. Just search through. You'll check them all out. I do them Tuesdays around 6 p.m. Eastern time. On my Twitch channel, man. If you don't follow the Twitch channel, hit that below. Twitch.tv slash dub dot. Also, any offense, defense that you find here, I'm working on a new ebook. Doesn't look the best in this video, but it is at Matt and Turf. You can go below, hit that link, though, and get that. Get yourself some t-shirts. Neededgamingstore.com. So, but anyway, this is just a, a, an example of, you know, one of the things I preach a lot on is being able to keep your composure, being able to take a deep breath and, and realize that the game is still going on. No matter what happens to you, whether it's fluky plays, big plays, you know, you just get unfortunate on a couple things, missed tackles, drop picks, you know, the quarterback breaks a sack, he breaks a run, you know, you drop a pass, whatever it may be. Man, you have to keep your composure and keep playing. You know, that's one of the things I pride myself in on some of the biggest stages. But, you know, you kind of lose that when you're sitting at home. You kind of forget about, you know, you got to lock in and you kind of get pissed off because you're not playing against the best players in the world. You're not on the edge of your seat. You think, oh, this guy, I should be able to beat this guy easily, man. It shouldn't be a big deal. And, and you know, he shouldn't be moving the ball on me and so, so on and so forth, man. And that's how a lot of times... I will think playing these mutt games, and this is a great example of it, man. And I'm playing, I believe, is unfleshy, fleshly. I, I really don't know. But he's in the Vikings jerseys. The Vikings suck. Skull, a fly, Eagles fly. Anyway, but I'm kicking the ball off first, man. And a lot of times, man, honestly, against, you know, kids online, I would love to get the ball first to go up points, make them play from behind, rather than let them have the ball first and be able to do this inside zone, inside zone, really just trying to, you know, Already get under my skin running the ball. But here he hits the little baby in route right to Sean Taylor. Sean Taylor, you got to jump that. But he breaks it up. Get to a second down. He runs a bubble screen. Bubble. I'll never lose to a kid running a bubble screen. Jeez. Make the play there. He goes to the patented playmaker. He has Dan Marino. And, and the one thing he did, as you see, I start mostly because I started off blitzing six people at him. And the one thing he did with Marino was really just run backwards. No pocket presence. No anything. He would just run straight backwards. Here he's old. But there you go. See him running backwards. Little playmaker hits Calvin Johnson. Just no pressure out of this nickel normal. I like it because the screens, but he's doing a great job of picking it up. And after you pick it up, nobody sheds, man. It's not like 3-3-5. Three, three, and as you see, there's an example of him just running, throwing the ball behind his back. Look at this. Dan Marino, not Michael Vick. And he tried to throw a pick, but, you know, I just can't get the Ed Reed just doesn't see the ball. I can't get that interception on the first play. Next play, now I'm rage blitz. I'm sending seven at him. He hits the flat route. I have Derwin James. Just a little too slow. I did not man up. If you want to stop that or bait it, the best thing to do is man up your user on the running back because it'll take his first step right to the running back. He beat me on that running back play, man. Third and 13, and I blitzed seven people after that play, especially where he was on the field. I shouldn't have blitzed anybody, really, and just make him get three. First play of my drive, I'm just playmaker Randy Moss back across the middle. Nice little move right there. This is probably my biggest highlight of the day. Shout out to D. Croft, man. Just with a little whoop. Just left Julius Peppers looking stupid. That was the highlight of this whole game for me. But anyway, next play, he's waiting for the playmaker. We throw it up. Randy Moss drops a tough catch in traffic for sure. Definitely not mad that he dropped that pass right there. Next play, we're going to throw the drag. He's lurking on Julius Peppers, man. That's 6'7", 94 speed, 93 speed, whatever you got him at. That's what he's lurking on. Next play, we're going to drag. We got the post right over the middle. Randy Moss, or Calvin Johnson come back. Of course he drops it. You know, we don't catch no open passes. Next play on, on fourth down, I'm super bagged, honestly. Nobody's open. Try to hit this post late, but uh, Keyshawn Johnson. All my backup players were in right there. That's something you got to worry about, man. Like, when you when you taking a lot of plays, you're going fast. My backups were in right there. That was uh, just a bad Keyshawn Johnson with, like, 82 speed. And uh, that got bad real quick. Next drive, I go a little different, a little 3-3-5. Get some pressure to arrow on him. Not going to blitz seven and six people at him. Just sending four. Throws the ball underneath here to Stefan Diggs. Getting close to field goal range, man. He's already up 7 nothing. I'm feeling okay. Cam Chancellor hits stick. Run commit hits stick. Cam Chancellor puts Barry Sanders down there. He throws into traffic. Jamal Adams, of course, swats behind the ball. Lets him catch it. Uh, I wanted Jamal Adams to make a play right there. Deion Sanders. 
coming in on a blitz. Like I said, I didn't send seven at him, working good. Now, this is kind of, this made me mad because he kind of conceded just the fact he wanted a field goal. He didn't really go for it. He didn't try to get a first down. He didn't try to, you know, make sure I didn't get the ball back. He just was cool going up 10 nothing. And I'm like, man, I'm going to go down, get seven. I get the ball at half. The game is far from over. Hit it underneath here to Vernon Davis. Breaks the tackle. That's my new tight end. We benched Dallas Clark, sold him for the coins. Next play, we're looking up top. I feel like I have a touchdown there in B. I'm going to go back to that, and it's going to hurt me later. I feel like my fade was a touchdown there. I could beat him deep. Now, so here I go. I'm still throwing the ball underneath, still taking my check down, still making plays with Vernon Davis, with drags, with slants, still playing well. Obviously, I got boxed that first drive, but I'm going to continue to keep doing what I have to do. Playing good, get here inside. The, I'm under 15, it's 30 seconds left. We're going to try to throw this post high ball over here to Julio, of course. It bounces back the only place it could bounce back. It could have bounced out of bounds to the left to the back, right back to the quarterback, but it bounces perfect place for him to go and pick it off. So instead of getting a touchdown there, no points or field goal, I get absolutely nothing. So it's still 10 nothing. It's a nice dot right here, and this is the play of the game. Rolls out here. Dan Marino on a run, hits that pass, bounces off a hit stick, makes me miss another one because he bounced off the hit stick, and Calvin Johnson takes it to the crib on a broken play, playmaker, running with Dan Marino, and that's 17-0 uh, as a whole. But that's why they watch. They're going to tune in for the comeback. You guys really didn't think I'd get blown out and post it on YouTube, right? As we try to, can we break this tackle? Let me break that tackle one time. But Rod Woodson tackles Julio Jones. So we get the ball out of half. We're down by 17, man. That's rough. It's three possessions, man. So And there's only eight minutes left in the game. So for me to win this game, I'm going to have to pretty much hold him scoreless and score 20-plus uh, points can be done and this is what i talk about being on tilt you're getting mad so what am i going to do i'm going to try to get it all back on the first play let's go get it but of course you know rod woodson bags me and i throw a pick because i'm pissed i gave up that touchdown i got that tip pick that went right to him and so on and so forth he holds on there bang our don't but so on and so forth things not going my way i tried to get it all back in one play you see marino again like what in the world are we doing with dan marino can I get a turnover somehow? Now we're looking for a pick, and we lurk him perfectly. And, of course, you know, just Derwin James wants to slip on a banana peel as I go for a pick there. So tilt on tilt right now. Really just going to continue to send it. And he throws one right in front of Cam Chancellor, who gets a pick animation behind the receiver. I'm on tilt right now. You're going, I'm blitzing six. I'm blitzing seven. I'm blitzing everybody at this kid. And because of that, I left a big asshole. And Ed Reed takes the worst angle of his life right there, and we give up a touchdown. So now it's really dark. Really dark. A super on tilt. Like I said, I'm trying to get everything back, both on offense, both on defense. Now I just move the ball to the middle of the field. You know why? Because I want to try to bomb him again. Let's try to bomb this cover three. He just sat in cover three, rush three. We got the post route. Let's pass lead it over here. Let's run by Jamal Adams. Dives out of nowhere. Jesus Calvin, you got to fight for me just a little bit, buddy. Like I said, because I'm mad, I'm trying to get it all back in one play. And that's what happened both on offense and defense. I tried to get everything back, blitzing everybody. And here we go. This is the one that's going to do it off. Oh, easy pick. I don't know what happened there. Couldn't tell you. He threw right at me. That's going to tap me out. Zip me up. Got flooded. Underwater. Really just, like I said, I, I pride myself in keeping my composure, but that game really had me on tilt, really had me raging, and that's pretty much what happened in that game, man. And I tell you guys, no matter what happens in the game, you still have to keep your cool, still have to, you know, execute properly, man. Whether you're down 14, whether you're down 10, whether you're down 21, you still have to try to execute properly. And pretty much that tip pick right there, that one was the one that really set me off because the score was 10 nothing. Obviously, this play to Calvin was brutal. But the score was 10 nothing. If I just get three there, I'm all right. All I need is three. But because of that tip pick, bouncing back in the middle of the field, I really didn't get any points there. And uh, it really set me just furious the rest of the game. And that's pretty much the reason why... I was on tilt. And then, of course, you know, when these guys beat you, they send you these nice, pleasant messages. Hey, good game, man. I really respect you. Blah, blah, blah. And I appreciate it. 
But, man, am I pissed. But at the same time, man, you got to get over your games that you lose. You pretty much have to uh, go on to the next game. That's the best thing about Madden. You know, they give you a chance to go to the next game. Just press search again. You know, that's pretty much it. And once you get into the next game, you should be able to forget, you know, the game you just got flooded, man. It happens to all of us. We all go on tilt. We all get pissed off from the game, man. But the best thing you can do is keep your composure.